we are going to see the list box control which is meant for displaying multiple data for example the specializations or the employee names and the like so I'm starting new project new form this I'm giving a good name FRM list box new toolbox for adding the toolbox in case if it is not visible adding a label called so before that as usual I'll set the text of the form my site name and here I'll give something like Microsoft Technologies then I'm adding a list box also giving a good name to the list box say LST tech now I want to add items so I'm going to the items collection WPF enter WCF enter WF Windows forms and the like now let's run the application I didn't change the startup form so I'll be getting the previous example that is a text box example the third exa second example now I'm going to the project properties as usual and setting the startup form to FRM list box so now when you run the application you are getting the list box example so now what you saw is setting the properties by using the properties window that is not the practice you might be following in real time in real time you might be writing some code and populating the controls like, like list box so we are going to see that option now so I'm doubling on the blank form and I'll be taken to an event called load event which is not a user generated event but it is a lifetime event it will be automatically triggered when form comes into existence so here I'm giving a code like name of the control LST tech dot items dot add web forms let's run it so in addition to those properties you set using the properties window you're getting the web forms also now rest of the values LST tech dot items dot add web service let's run it so instead of going on adding system uh, list box dot items dot add you can use something called a with statement which is present only in vb.net with lst tech dot items and end with now you should you need to have only dot add I'm getting the same output so instead of typing the lengthy statement I can just give dot add and I'm getting the output so this is a with statement now we are going to enhance this example instead of just giving at the time of load even or using the properties window the user should be in a position to add new items to the list box so we are placing another label called new technology or technology and a text box so this I am calling this txt tech and a command button called add so once you type something inside the text box and click on add button automatically we add it to the list box
So the code mm -hmm. I'm going to give is LST tech dot items dot add. Instead of hard coding the value, I'm specifying the contents of the text box using TST tech dot text. So I'm giving a new technology, say multi-threading. Add. It's working, but it's not perfect. Now if you want to again enter a value, you have to highlight the whole thing, delete it off, then only you can type the next value. So say globalization. So in the next example, we are going to overcome that drawback. So it's very simple. You, you want to blank the control. Tech dot text is equal to double quote, double quote for blanking it. And also bringing the focus back to the text box, dot focus. Let's run it. Now again, it's not perfect. You have to come and click on this button, on this uh, text box. So that will rectify in the next iteration. So again, I'm typing multi-threading. So have you, you have noticed one thing. The previous value you entered into the text box, you're not persisting anywhere. It is just It just vanishes. So here is the relevance for database or serialization and the like. So adding, it's that portion is okay. And also I have to take my mouse, hands off from the keyboard, take the mouse and again click on the control. Instead of that, if I have a hot key like Alt A, it will be better. So that also will be rectifying in the next example. So it, this is okay. So here we are, what we are going to do is there's an option called view tab order. And this I'm going to make it zero and this one. And off the tab. Now the form is in a lock state. So we have you can check off that option. Tab order. Now when you run the application you will see that the cursor is in the Zeroth tab control, that is the text box. So when you again press on tab, it will be going to the first uh, first control, that is the add button. Also, I am going to have a hotkey. That is an accessibility option. It can be set by setting an Amazon before the letter you want to make it as a hotkey. So now we can invoke this control by using Alt A. So let's run the application. So I'm not using the mouse at all in this example. So cursor is automatically coming in the text box. I'm just typing multi-threading. Alt A. Control goes into the label, uh, into the list box, and the text box is blank without using the mouse. Again, another value. Alt A. Thank you.